Have you ever heard the story of the Ethiopian Jews, also known as Beta Israel? It's a tale shrouded in mystery, spanning millennia, blending ancient legends, religious intrigue, and genetic puzzles. Some claim their ancestors walked among the lost tribes of Israel, while others believe they are the result of a cultural fusion between Jews and Kushites. But how much of this is truth and how much is legend? Join me on an epic journey through ancient kingdoms, biblical mysteries, and genetic revelations as we explore the origins of the Ethiopian Jews. Could Beta Israel be descendants of the tribe of Dan, one of the 12 tribes of Israel who journeyed to Ethiopia during the Exodus? Or were they once Cushitic people who adopted Judaism through long lost trade routes or foreign missionaries. Some traditions claim that their ancestors brought the Ark of the Covenant from Jerusalem to Ethiopia, hidden away for centuries. But the Bible is silent on this story. So where does the truth lie? Modern scholars suggest a very different theory. Perhaps Judaism was introduced to Ethiopia not through migration but through commerce and local conversions. Could these mysterious Jews have evolved independently practicing a faith untouched by the rabbinic traditions of Jerusalem? But what about their genetics? Do they carry the DNA of ancient Israelites? Or is their story more rooted in Africa than the Middle East? According to Ethiopian lore, the mighty Menelik the Rain, son of King Solomon and the Queen of Sheba, led the first wave of Jews into Ethiopia bringing with him the Ark of the Covenant itself. Could it be true that a divine relic sits hidden somewhere in Ethiopia? Or is this just a beautiful story passed down through generations? And who exactly was the Queen of Sheba, a Cushite queen or an Israelite maiden, as hinted in the Song of Songs? These unanswered questions have fueled both fascination and controversy for centuries, Recent genetic studies have raised more questions than answers. While many Beta Israel Jews show traces of Semitic ancestry, much of their DNA reveals roots deeply embedded in East African populations. 41% of Beta Israel men carry a haplogroup found primarily among African populations, casting doubt on a purely Israelite origin. Their maternal DNA shows similarities with other populations in the Ethiopian highlands, but only faint connections with Jewish communities in the Middle East. A 2009 study found that Beta Israel is genetically closer to Cushitic-speaking populations in the Horn of Africa than to any Jewish community outside of Africa. Despite carrying small amounts of Semitic DNA, their origins remain elusive. Are these genetic traces remnants of ancient Jewish travelers or Arab merchants? Could the legend of the tribe of Dan hold some truth hidden within the twists of history? Or have the answers been lost to time? In the 20th century, Israel officially recognized Beta Israel as Jewish, paving the way for thousands to migrate to Israel through daring rescue missions like Operation Moses and Operation Solomon. But their journey didn't end there. Their identity has been questioned, debated, and scrutinized ever since. Are the Ethiopian Jews the lost sons and daughters of ancient Israel? Or did their Jewish faith take root through centuries of cultural exchange and adaptation? The story of Beta Israel is more than just history. It's a search for identity, faith, and belonging. Do they truly carry the legacy of ancient Israelites or have centuries of oral traditions transformed their origins into legend? Share your thoughts in the comments. What theory do you believe? Could there still be hidden truths waiting to be uncovered in the genetic data, ancient manuscripts, or the ruins of the Ethiopian highlands? Or is the true origin of Beta Israel destined to remain a beautiful mystery? Hit the like button, subscribe for more deep dives, and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload.